O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. For me the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights. Fair to me indeed is my inheritance. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Today is the memorial of St. John Newman. Let us take a moment to prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sin. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that, as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son as a mediation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, Lord every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you.
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them, so that they may go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy something for them to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy two hundred days' wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows by hundreds and by fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were 5,000 men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Continue our reflection on the first letter of John during this Christmas season. The section of the letter that reflects on the first principle, which is believing that Jesus is the Christ, has now concluded. And now the beloved disciple starts reflecting on the second principle love one another. As Christ taught. Already in the earlier part of the letter, we covered that not to love is to fall under the influence of the spirit of deceit. And living under the spirit of deceit is to live in a world where hatred is the way of things. But to know God is to be penetrated by love. If we have been penetrated by love, we will love one another. Love is not something that originates in us. It flows from the experience of love in God through us to one another. Therefore, the love of God is revealed and experienced in Christ. This love is so complete that it even forgives sins. Now, today's reading has probably the most famous line in the New Testament in it. God is love. And certainly there have been a lot of commentaries on this one line over the centuries. St. Augustine himself commented many times on this line and came up with four different conclusions at different stages in his life. Early in his life, he talked about God is charitable love. Then later on, he talked about God as fraternal love. A little older, he talked about God as merciful love. And towards the end of his life, he talked about love as 
God is that love which acts for justice. Now, we have to remember that the author of this letter, the beloved disciple, is old. He's like, he knew Jesus when he was a teenager. He is now an old man writing to the early Christian community. And he's trying to help people know the love of God. And so he says, love is a person, Jesus Christ, that we must experience to know him and to know love. By experiencing Jesus, we know love. And this love is so great that it transforms our lives. This, this vision of love that the beloved disciple has is a mystical vision of love. Think back to the prayer of Jesus in the Gospel of John at the Last Supper. He talks about the oneness of the Father and the Son, the oneness of the Son and the disciples, the oneness of the disciples with each other, a unity that is composed of a great diversity. St. Gregory of Nyssa, one of the early saints of the church, said one of the ways to think about this is every person has a plurality of souls. Now, we wouldn't say it that way today. We would say a plurality of desires and motivations and um, parts of their personality. He says, all these different parts of ourselves blend together to form one person, even aspects that are opposed to each other. We're still only one person. We will continue with reflecting on the theme, God is love, tomorrow from the first letter of John. In this time when the goodness and kindness of God our Savior have appeared, let us, dear brothers and sisters, humbly pour forth to him our prayers, trusting not in our own good works, but in God's mercy. For the Church of God, that in the integrity of faith she may await and may welcome with joy him, whom the Immaculate Virgin conceived by a word and wondrously brought to birth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the progress and peace of the entire world, that what is given in time may become a reward in eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that are oppressed by hunger, sickness, or loneliness, that through the mystery of the Nativity and the Epiphany, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our parish community of faith, that we continue to encourage one another during this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the people of the entire world, that there will be peace and goodwill for all. And as we enter the new year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our families and our friends and for the strangers we meet today and for all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We 
pray, O Lord our God, that the Virgin Mary, who merited to bear God and man in her chaste womb, may commend the prayers of your faithful in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness to have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, that become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, God, forever. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness to have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, that become for us our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Great sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted the St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, all the hosts of powers of heaven, we declare the kingdom of your glory as God end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which 
be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, to the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who has given up home, brothers or sisters, father or mother, wife or children or property for my sake will receive many times as much and inherit an everlasting life.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O oh Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the Church by the bond of unity and truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. <laughs>